How do you set up a Google Calendar event in somebody else's time zone? They've told you I can meet, and they've told you their time zone. They've told you what day it is for them and what time is going to work for them, their local time. How do you translate that? I'm going to show you how to do it right now. Now, of course, you can use a tool such as Calendly, which does the translation to the right time zone. If you want to use that one, check out this video here, linked just now. And you can also do a Google search. What time is it in Sydney when it's 8.15 a.m. in Wales? Hmm. What about 5 p.m. in Wales, Google? Translate that. Huh. 4 a.m. Thursday. It's actually a different day. Hmm. I think I'll go for the 8.15 a.m. And you can use one of these tools like Time and Date or World Time Server. And there are apps around, but let's do it without any apps at all. So I know that my colleague wants to meet at 8.15 a.m. on Thursday. That's his time. I know also what time zone he is in. So I'm going to go create and I'm going to put in a placeholder, okay, meeting. And that's going to be on Thursday at 8.15 a.m. But the problem is that's 8.15 a.m. my time. Ah. I actually need to change the time zone. So here's how to do it. I go to time zone here. And I'm going to search for his time. Now, Google Calendar doesn't play really nicely here. <laughs> it's pretty, pretty cumbersome, but you can find it. I know that my colleague is in Greenwich Mean Time or GMT. He's told me that. And so I'm going to click OK there. And at that point, that has translated it to my time zone, which is actually 7.15. See this? 7.15 p.m. local time for me in Sydney. So that's how to do it. So I can add in his email address and then add the video conferencing. If you're not sure how to do that, check out this video here, which shows you how to connect Google Calendar and Zoom together. And then once I hit save, after I put in the guest's uh, email address, that will send the invitation through, including the Zoom link. So that will already be there inside that invitation. And so when the meeting comes up, all I need to do is cl click on this and open the Zoom meeting. And so too does my colleague.